Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. As always, guys, uh, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information is down below in the description. So we have Capricorns. Ooh, this looks lovely, Capricorns. And again, guys, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies. Um, Capricorns, you... <laughs> Your, your title is solo writing. So, you know, when you think about solo, you're usually like by yourself. You're usually like doing your own thing. Um, but, but it's incredible the way that it's coming up in this, in this reading, because it's like, you're setting so many, <laughs> and I don't think that you're doing it on purpose, um, to be honest with you, Capricorns, but you're like a trendsetter. Um, but the thing is that you never get, um, publicly, like you don't get credit for setting trends. Um, don't ask me why it's coming up that way, but regardless of it, um, because you are always, or this week anyway, you're like a solo writing, right? You're always doing your own thing. You're always, um, you're kind of always following what it is. Like you have your, you have your goals, right? But you go about achieving them or go about doing them in a very different way than most people would and and because of that this is opening up a lot of doors capricorns and you capricorns you guys love to work you guys love to show up you guys are very committed and everything like that but just know that there is a lot a lot of open doors right now and a lot of opportunities and it, it's almost kind of like you want to take them all at once and and that's fine cappies i'm not saying not to but just make sure that you're not overlapping things or you're not double booking or double scheduling things that's really the main thing here capricorns that you are that you're giving yourself enough time and enough um, enough rest in between all of these things. Cause I do see your hand. I do see you kind of like in a lot of, I don't want to say scattered because you know where you're at when you are there, but just make sure that there's break. I think that's mainly the main thing for you Capricorns. Make sure is there's breaks in between. So like if you're doing this project by yourself, make sure you give yourself an hour before you go ahead and you do, you know, go to work. Give yourself an hour before you work on this project. Like just make sure that you're taking regular breaks Capricorns because you do have a lot. Um, This is a, what you've been working towards or this is what you've been asking for. So just make sure that you're, you're your time management is on point this week. Um, if at all possible, Capricorns, whatever you can get ahead of, um, go ahead and get ahead um, so that you do not, so you're not working on deadlines. I don't really feel like you guys like working on deadlines anyways, but just an FYI because you are taking a lot more in. So we have the King of Wands, the Lord of the Flaming Light is in the reverse. One more card, two more cards for a sign. The Hermit, the Magus of the Voice of Light. And then we have the Five of Wands, the Lord of Strife in the reverse. So again, this is going to be a week where you really have to um, listen to yourself. Again, there's going to be a lot of opportunities. There's going to be a lot of things coming for you. Just make sure that when you when we talk about the Hermit, right, it doesn't mean that you disappear for like a week or a month or a year or anything like that. This is like that. Make sure you're taking those little moments for yourself, right? That, that 10 minute here, 15 minute there, whatever it is to kind of like, okay next like you know just make sure that you're grounding yourself enough in between projects and between activities this week so that you can stay up flow with the energy um so that that this energy that you're having right now can continue continue to stay with you see it's 111 I just looked at my phone and I'm like, wait, what? Why am I looking at my phone? All right, so let's go ahead and let's pull out your love energy card. 
Now, this can be any type of relationship, romantic, platonic, spirituality, so finances, career. Gilded regret, number five. So again, a lot of you, you're, you're, the reason why you're being asked to go into this hermit more is because a lot of you sometimes do not give yourself that, that space or that time to take breaks. Um, and when you do that, you end up burning yourself out, right? And then when you burn yourself out, then it takes you days or weeks to recover. Um, or then you start, or you start to lose um, passion for what it is that you're doing. So make sure that you do not fall into that trap this week. So let's go ahead, Caps, and let's get your closing message. My left ear is itching like crazy. <coughs> I know some people hate that noise, but um, it helps. So my ear, my ear is itchy. All right. So it is a closing message for Capricorn Spirit. Yeah. Rooted. What did I tell you? You have to stay grounded this week. 34. May you never tear the living rit ritual that is magic merge within the roots of your being the soil of your soul as long as you're staying grounded as long as you're taking those moments whatever it is whatever rituals you do whether you pray whether you meditate whether you do spell work whether you sun gaze whether you whatever it is just make sure that you're doing them right um personally i talk about this a lot when you know i i made the mistake where i went ahead and i tried medication and it through my body off course and and it took me almost like four and a half years of actually um keeping journals right of what I was eating what I was what I was exercising how often I was exercising and all of this other stuff to find that balance right because of the narcolepsy that balance that my body needed right so I did all this work and then this new medication comes up and I'm so hopeful because it's so different and all this. And then I, I take it and, and it really not, it knocked me off for like almost two weeks in total, to be honest with you. And, and I remember like after the fourth dose, I only took it four days and I, I emailed my doctor and I was like, you know what, it's really, um, I'm stopping this. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to keep on managing the symptoms the, the way that I have been doing because it has been working, right? And it's almost kind of like that. Like, even if what you are doing doesn't make sense to other people, Cappy, just continue to do it because if it's working for you, that is all that matters. Well, guys, sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Mom, bye-bye.